From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and welcome back. It is 616, so we still have about another hour, just under an hour until the sunrise is at 703 this morning. And we are looking at partly cloudy skies out there this morning. Temperatures are significantly lower than where we were at this time. 24 hours ago. So the Tri-Cities, you're running 21 degrees colder than where you were at this time yesterday. Walla Walla, 13 degrees colder and Hermiston, 14 degrees colder. And that puts our numbers below freezing in many spots. So we're 27 in the Tri-Cities and Connell, 27 in Ellensburg, 30 at Hanford, 38 in Prosser, and we're at 36 degrees in Yakima. So be sure to bundle up as you head out the door this morning. We're watching for the potential for some patchy fog to develop. The winds were light overnight. We saw some breaks in the clouds. So right now, no fog out there to speak of across the Columbia Basin. However, there's still a possibility we could see some fog develop over the next one to two hours, and I'll be monitoring that very closely. All is quiet across the state of Washington. That storm system that moved through yesterday that brought us all the clouds and a little bit of light rain, well, that is now to our east, and we're waiting on another storm system that will move in tomorrow. But until then, things are going to stay quiet today. We'll see plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a terrific Tuesday. However, it will be a bit cooler compared to yesterday. Remember yesterday, we were in the 50s. Not bad for this time of year. Today, upper 40s, and then Tri-Cities, 48, 46 in Walla Walla, and 48 in Prosser. This is actually where we should be for this time of year. Overnight, we will see clouds increasing and it will be another cold night. Temperatures drop into the lower 30s for the most part. Some of our cooler spots may dip into the upper 20s. Here's when the next storm system moves in. It will be moving in as we head into tomorrow, not tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, it'll start to impact portions of Northern California and Western Oregon. And by the afternoon, the clouds continue to thicken across our region, rain and snow still to our south, but then that rain will overspread most of the Columbia Basin as we head into tomorrow evening. So here's a closer look for you as we take you into your Wednesday. Wednesday morning, we're dry for your morning drive. Lunchtime, we're still dry. And then we'll start to see some of this precipitation try to work its way in by the evening commute. Keep in mind, if you look at the radar tomorrow afternoon, there may not be any rain or snow falling initially because we have to moisten up the atmosphere. So I think the better chances for this precipitation to really reach the ground in the form of rain for our main cities will be tomorrow evening. So that's good news. If you have any Valentine's Day plans, breakfast and lunch, no issues. It will be a cooler day though tomorrow, 40 degrees around lunchtime. Dinner time, there may be a little bit of light rain, but that's it, 42. And then driving home, maybe some wet snowflakes, but I don't think there's gonna be any issues on the roads. Roads may be wet, but that is about it. So no big problems anticipated for your Valentine's Day plans or Valentine's Day evening plans, that is. Your Tri-City seven day forecast showing that those rain chances going up tomorrow, mixing with snow Wednesday night into Thursday. Could be some minor accumulations in the lower elevations. Tri-Cities maybe up to an inch, and that'll be Wednesday night into Thursday. Yakima 48, 40 degrees tomorrow, and turning even colder Thursday, 39 degrees there. Walla Walla 46, plenty of sunshine today. Rain chances going up tomorrow, and then those rain and snow chances Wednesday night into Thursday. Hermiston, you'll have that rain and snow mixing in tomorrow late in the day, continuing into Thursday and staying on the chilly side.